else. Thank you. New at 5, the Ad Hoc Committee on the proposed downtown L.A. football stadium got to see some early findings today. As Eyewitness News reporter Sid Garcia reports, panel members are concerned the project will chase local business and local residents out of the neighborhood. A progress report today on how the City of Los Angeles, AEG, and community groups are addressing concerns over the proposed construction of Farmers Field and the new Convention Center Hall. One of the main concerns voiced this morning was the effect of the cost of housing for low-income families in downtown L.A. and in the nearby Pico Union neighborhood. When a stadium of this size is built, it inflates the rental values of the area and leads to displacement of these low and very low-income residents. A draft of an environmental impact report on the proposed stadium and convention center project was submitted to the City of Los Angeles by AEG earlier this year. That report is currently being reviewed by the city. I'm very interested to, to see the proposals that are put forth on air quality uh, and on the mitigation of noise, uh, particularly as it pertains to the Pico Passage as it goes into the Pico Union area. The final draft of the environmental impact report is scheduled to be presented to the full city council by late August. A vote on the report is expected in late September or mid-October. If approved, state law mandates that if any group wants to challenge the report in court, it has 175 days to file the lawsuit. For those groups who support the stadium project, it's about bringing jobs and the NFL to downtown L.A. It's a very detailed process. It's been laid out by the NFL, also by AEG and L.A. City Council. Everyone's doing their due diligence to uh, get this thing done and make sure that everything is, uh, is uh, perfect. Once the environmental impact report is approved and all the litigation is done, the first thing to be built will be that new convention center addition, followed by Farmer's Field. That's if an NFL team agrees to call downtown L.A. home. Reporting from City Hall, I'm Sid Garcia, ABC7 Eyewitness News.